da 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 But there was one more cartoon that he watched towards the end. This is getting to the end of of his cartoon time. Still in the 1980s. This is still the 80s. Mr. T. Haha, <laughs> the Mr. T cartoon. So this started a whole new change in American cartoons. So now cartoons last a half hour. And each cartoon is its own story. But the cartoons are not about any one person. It's always about a character. Mr. T is about a real person. So let me teach you a little about Mr. T. Mr. T is an actor, and he became famous, famous, the famous. <sighs> Mr. T is an actor, and he became famous as a professional wrestler. Yeah, he's a professional wrestler. That's how he became famous. And as a professional wrestler, as you get more and more popular, uh. They start doing movies. And they're not very good movies. They're, they're always action movies. And the professional wrestlers are either the good guys or the bad guys. But Mr. T, he did something very interesting. He was in a very, very popular boxing movie called Rocky. And the hero of the movie, Rocky, of course, uh, he's trying to show that he's the best boxer in America. But he's also trying to show he's, a, he's just a regular guy. Well, the, his enemy is another boxer, Mr. T. Yeah. And, and what's crazy is in the movie, Mr. T is Mr. T, but the actor's name is Mr. T. And Mr. T is a bad guy. He's a bad guy. He's like, he's not a cool guy. He's gonna and he's gonna he's gonna really hurt Rocky, and he's gonna be the winner. And he's not just gonna be the winner, but he's gonna he's gonna be the winner and and make Rocky so embarrassed that he fought. Oh yeah. Uh, and and eventually uh, he made that movie, but he didn't stop there. He didn't stop there. He took his fame in Hollywood. And he started showing up in TV series. He was an actor on a very popular TV series called The A-Team, where he was one of the good guys. And it was very important to this, to this actor that his character, he was a big, strong guy, but he was not a bad guy. He wouldn't do bad things. Like, he would hurt the bad, he would hurt the bad guys, but he would try to do it in a way that didn't get anyone else hurt. It was important to him to be safe with other people. And he also didn't drink. He didn't do drugs. He ate healthy, you know. Like, he, did, he didn't try to be cool and say, yeah, I'm going to smoke a cigarette after winning the battle. He would say, okay, I won the battle. Now I'm going to eat salad because that's healthy. And he would do, he went on to do other TV shows to, again, being the good guy and trying to show, I'm a strong guy, but you can be strong too. So he's trying to be a good role model. And for, he had his own talk show for a little while, you know, uh, his own talk show for a very short while. It wasn't very successful. But the whole focus of the talk show was to bring people on who were very, who were role models and to try to introduce them to the world. Hey, the, this is a role model. Let me ask them some questions. Why are you a role model? What makes you a good person to, for people to be like, you know? And one of his TV projects was a, a Saturday morning cartoon. Nobody had done that before. Nobody. This is the first time they made a cartoon about a real person and that's point one. Point two, that person had control of the cartoon. Usually, nobody has this kind of control. Usually, the studio decides, okay, your character is going to do this, that, and the other. And then the actor comes and just says the voices, and then they put the voice on the cartoon. No, no, no. Mr. T said, if you're going to use me, I want my character to do these things. I want my character to say these things and, and try to be good and say good things. Uh, he decided 
what commercials to show on the show. So if the, if Mr. T would talk about some product, it was a product that the actor supported, not because he was paid a lot of money, but because he said, "Yeah, I'm gonna be I'm paid a lot of money, but I also recommend." These things, I, I, it's okay. I think it's okay for kids to ride this kind of bicycle because I think it's safe or whatever. Okay. Um, and so I loved Mr. T, the cartoon, but I also I was a huge fan of Mr. T, the actor. I was his number one fan. So was I going to watch Mr. T, the cartoon, even though I was getting a little old? Uh, absolutely. And that's exactly what I did. I watched I watched Mr. T the cartoon. Absolutely. <laughs> um yeah, and it didn't last for very long. Um and by then by then I was in high school and and then eventually I went to college. So so what happens after that? What happened to American cartoons when Jack Detroit stopped watching cartoons? <laughs> 